Hello world folks, good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of world news and analysis. Before I move on to any further details, I would really love to thank you all for enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed yet, I mean, what are you waiting for guys? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to press that bell icon. Prince Harry reached a new level of embarrassment on Saturday, according to a royal commentator. The Duke of Sussex, the younger son of the crown king, fifth in line to the throne, was seated third in row between Princess Alexandra, a cousin of the late queen, and currently 56 in line of succession, Jack Brooksbank, the husband of Princess Eugene. The position Australian commentator Daniel Eisler claimed was debasing for the royal. In a comment piece for News AU, she wrote, If this was not galling and gominous debasing enough, Harry, the son of the king, having to share a pew with Alexandra, whose three and a half rugby team's worth of spots away from the crown, and Jack, a former tequila ambassador, then prepare yourself, because he'll be seated for the ceremony. Deep breaths here, chaps. Third row. Three, troths. Not first, not second, third. Referring to the popularity reached by Harry of his frostbitten penis in his memoir. This is a new level of embarrassment for the Duke, whose really ended up on the newspaper front pages twice. In two previous major services tended by the Duke and Duchess, after they stepped down as senior royals, Harry and Meghan sat in the second row alongside non-working members of the firm. And shortly after the end of the coronation, the Duke of Sussex traveled back to California, likely aiming to be back in time to celebrate the fourth birthday of Prince Archie. Despite the importance of the event for the Sussexes family, no official royal channel mentioned the birthday of the boy on Saturday last year. It was reported the official royal family channel would not mark the birthday of non-working royals, but the Prince and Princess of Wales still shared a message for their then three-year-old on the Twitter account. No picture or message was released by the Duke and Duchess either, and likely not to steal the limelight from the King and Queen in the historic coronation. What do you think about this news? Do you think Archie and Lilibet will suffer more because of Harry and Meghan's revenge plot against the monarchy? Write it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Until then, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if things turn out to be something after all. Also, if you never want to miss any of my Sizzling Royal updates like this, subscribe and press that bell icon. It's as simple as that. So until next time, hasta la vista.